Hello friends, good morning. In my last lecture, I had started with the protection of transmission line and distribution line against direct lightning strokes. In that lecture, I had told you that the protection is provided by ground conductors, also called as earth conductors. These are nothing but the conductors running above the power conductors and connected to the towers. As they are above the power conductors, they attract the direct lightning strokes. After that, I had started explaining the various terms associated with the protection of transmission line against direct lightning strokes. First term was pre-discharge current. Second was isochronic level. I had explained both these terms and then I had solved one numerical on isochronic level. Next term is back flight level. Now, so far we have understood what is flash door. Flash door means the power conductor or the electrode which is connected to the high voltage discharges to the ground. That is flash door. We observe a flash, therefore we call it as we call this as flash door. Now, what is this back flash door? Obviously, back means it is reverse process. Reverse process means the flash door is from ground or earth conductor or electrode to the power conductor. Now let us see how it happens. Now this is the structure of the tower. This is position of ground conductor, cross arm. These are insulators. This is power conductor. This tower is grounded. So if flash door occurs from this power conductor to the ground conductor or to the tower, we say that it is normal flash door. Back flash door means the flash door is occurring from ground conductor to this power conductor or from tower to this power conductor. That is, process is reverse. Now let us see how it happens because under normal conditions, this ground conductor and this tower is at zero potential. Now this is the waveform of lightning stroke or lightning over voltage that I had explained it is impulsive nature, fast rise and relatively slow decay. This waveform we describe or we nominate by three parameters rise time as per Indian standard it is 1.2 seconds, decay time that is time to reduce to 50% of peak value as per Indian standard it is 50 microseconds and then the peak value that is BP. Now let us assume that this peak value is five hundred kV. The over voltage which is generated due to lightning direct stroke is five hundred kV. So this five hundred kV stroke will be on this power conductor, sorry, ground conductor, and obviously the tower top will be subjected to five hundred kV. Now let us say it is 400 kV power conductor, 400 kV transmission line. This is sinusoidal voltage, 400 kV. 400 kV is three phase RMS value. So this peak value per phase will be 400 by root three, that is line voltage, sorry, phase voltage multiplied by root two, that will be the peak value, maximum value of this sinusoidal waveform. That is approximately 325 kV. Now suppose, now please remember that this one cycle is of 20 milliseconds, half cycle is of 10 milliseconds. So this scale is in milliseconds, whereas this scale is in microsecond. So if we, if we consider, consider this lightning phenomena, that will be just in, just on an instant of this sinusoidal waveform, right? Because it is in millisecond, it is in microseconds. So peak value, Positive peak value of this waveform is 325 kV. Negative peak value is minus 325 kV. Now this over voltage can come at any instant in this complete cycle. Now when this over voltage comes, this entire tower top, this tower is subjected to 500 kV. Now suppose this lightning over voltage comes at this zero crossing instant. So at this zero crossing instant, 
this power conductor has value of 0 volt. So, relative difference will be 0 and 500 minus 0 that is 500 kV. As it is 400 kV line, there will be no flash door because the relative difference is only 500 kV and it is designed to sustain this voltage. This distance is sufficient. It will not flash over at 500 kV. Now, suppose this over voltage comes when this sinusoidal waveform or this power conductor is passing through this phase. That is positive peak value. It is 325 kV. So, relative voltage, that is potential difference between this tower and this power conductor will be 500 minus 325, that is only 175 kV. So, no question of type flashover or any type of flashover. Now, consider one case, next case. This waveform is passing through its negative peak, minus 325 kV. And at that instant, the lightning over voltage comes. So what will be the relative difference? 500 kV minus minus 325 kV. That is, it will be 825 kV. Relative potential difference will be potential difference will be 825 kV. So this 825 kV will be sufficient to break the air between these two points between power conductor and this tower. So in this case, the flashover will occur in reverse direction. Therefore, it is called as back flashover. So back flashover occurs. Means probability is more is more when lightning or voltage is positive in polarity and this waveform is passing through negative cycle and vice versa. If it is negative, then probability will be more when it is passing through positive cycle. So that's how the back flashover occurs. Next parameter is shielding angle. Now let us see what is this shielding angle. It is the angle between a vertical line drawn from ground conductor to the earth and the line joining ground conductor with the outermost power conductor. So this is the vertical line joining this ground conductor with the earth. Then there are three power conductors, phase A, phase B and phase C. So we join lines, this ground wire and power conductor, this line and this line. Next we consider the outermost power conductor. So in this case outermost power conductor is this one. This angle is theta. This is called as shielding angle. Now let us see what, how, what is its important, importance. Now, if you increase or uh, if you reduce the shielding angle, means this power conductor is brought near to the tower, then what will happen? This open area is reduced. So, probability of direct lightning stroke on this power conductor will reduce. That is the advantage. But what is the disadvantage? It is near to the tower. So, probability of back flash will be increased. That is the drawback. If we move away this power conductor, then probability of back flashover will reduce. But as it is away from the ground conductor, the probability of direct lightning stroke on this power conductor will increase. So we have to consider both these factors. One, probability of direct lightning stroke on the power conductor and second, probability of back flashover. So considering these two factors, the effective value is 30 degree. So this shielding angle is kept. 30 degree. Next is, next definition is of tower footing resistance. Now this tower is metallic structure. So when metal comes, there will be some resistance. So resistance of this tower is called as tower footing resistance. When we measure the resistance from this tower top up to this, that resistance is tower footing resistance. We call this as R. We denote this as Re and its value varies from 10 to 50 ohms. Now, as it is metallic structure, some small inductance will also come, and that inductance we consider while calculation. And we take this value as is as 10 microhenries. So tower footing resistance we normally take between 10 to 50 ohms, and inductance we take 10 
microhenries. So today I have discussed three factors or three definitions. One is back flash over, second is shielding angle, and third is tower footing resistance. One more definition is there, or one more parameter is there that I will explain in my next class. If you feel this lecture valuable, then please like the video. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection. Ask your friends, colleagues, your juniors to subscribe to this channel. I, if you want to make effective and efficient use of time, then read my book on time management. The link is given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for students on Udemy. Title is Boost Your Learning and Become Top Achiever. This course is very useful for the students and in, in general and for the students who are preparing for competitive and entrance exam. The link for the course is given in the description box. Thank you.